Hello everyone and welcome back to Hardcore. Today, first things first, I've been putting off doing something because I was waiting to get Respiration 3, but now that we have it, we're going to go like this, and I know we only have Protection 3, but we can get Protection 3 out on book or something, and we'll fix that. But I wanted the Netherite helmet. Bam. Wow, that actually looks pretty neat. That's kind of cool looking. <laughs> but today we are going to work on a Guardian farm. And if you think I'm going to clear an ocean monument of Elder Guardians in anything other than a time lapse, well, you're simply wrong. I have my bottles. I got my armor. Let's get through this and then we can build a farm today. Because who wants to see me clear an ocean monument? I don't think many people do. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a time lapse. Uh, it's been a little while since I've done one of these, and is there a second? No, there's not two in this video. For a second, I thought there might be two in this video. But uh, one thing I want to talk about is that there's this weird thing with this guardian farm, in that there, well, not the guardian farm, but the temple, in that there's a ruins like sunken city actually generated inside of it. I don't know why this happened, but it's pretty interesting if you ask me. Uh, I think when we eventually drain it out and build a big, actual, like, proper farm, it will... There was a few close calls on this as well, by the way. Uh, when we build a proper guardian farm, like the big, big one when we drain out the monument, I think we might end up also accidentally making a drowned farm, so... That'll be interesting at the very least. Yeah, there, this guardian was a tough bugger. That one did not want to die. Uh, the next one is kind of a cool skull as well, but you know. Anyway, I wanted to very quickly talk about what we're going to be doing for 150 subs. Um, I've been brainstorming a few ideas. I think the best idea I could come up with was uh, a like 12 hour live stream. It was either going to be 8 or 12 hours. And I was going to be doing uh, jungle clearing for the, uh, the main base we're going to be doing. I figured that'd be a decent thing to do, and then we could also work on the nether hub if we finish up clearing, because I don't think clearing will take us all of 12 hours, but we could work on the nether hub instead. And that would just be something we do like as a community. I think it'd be cool. We'd schedule a proper time. I wouldn't, um, I'd probably do a Twitter poll as well, so definitely go follow me on Twitter so you can be involved in deciding when that's going to happen. But yeah, I, I think that's what we're going to end up doing for uh, our uh, 150 sub specials. We're going to do a live stream on Hardcore. Nothing like too spectacular, so if you don't want to show up to the live stream, that's fine. We're just going to do some basic stuff that I would probably do off camera anyway, except for maybe the nether hub, but you know, that'll probably be towards the second half of the live stream. So it'll be up for 12 hours, hopefully. So you won't have to, you have to tune in and out if you feel like. Anyway, that's all I got. Also, we got a trident from these guys. Have a good day. <laughs> Alrighty. So um, I don't know what. I'm going to have to do some research on the sunken cities to see if I have to leave the structures intact for Drown to spawn. If so, that's probably fine. But if not, that's kind of interesting. I stole this bed from that village over there. Um, yeah, uh, otherwise, we are going to get started on this design. I have everything we need. I'm also going to link the uh, uh, tutorial I found this from in the description below. I actually traced it back to who I think is the original maker. Uh, I think it's Mind the Fab, I believe. So, yeah, he's going to be in the description below. Link to that video is going to be along with him because this is a really nice design. It's a very easy design to build. So, let's get started. Oh, I also completely forgot to mention, uh, I, killed a tri I killed a trident drowned on the way out and actually got the trident, which is really nice because we didn't have one yet. So, now we should be able to get a few heads or we can probably make a riptide since we're going to be out here most of the time. I uh, came back home to get a few things and now we got these two guys in here, which... It's not great. Hi, I'm just gonna not hurt you at all, and we'll be fine. Alrighty, so now that we got this stuff over here, we need to start work on the actual structure of our portal. I'll worry about the storage after the fact, but we need our obsidian, we need our stone, and we are actually gonna need to make some of these into slabs. Let's just do that for now. Alright, maybe I should come back with the visibility potions, because this is pretty painful. Yep, we're gonna come back with the visibility. Ouchie. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. Oh. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm coming back with the visibility, okay? Okay. Alright, after a little more grinding, I now have the visibility potion. So I'm going to hope I don't die. And if I do, that's gonna be big rip. <laughs> 
All right, so now that we have a little bit of time here to work with, I'm going to finish clearing off all this vegetation. They must be targeting a drowned or something. Yeah, they're not targeting me. Okay, so back down, get rid of this vegetation. All right, perfect. Now I just gotta wait for my stuff to recharge and we need to get rid of these blocks. Need to make, we need to flatten out the top of this thing in essence. We need to build this up to the surface like that and then fill in to all the corners. I don't want to misplace because that's going to take a while to mine out. So we go like that and we're going to want to build a ring following this top square. We're going to build a ring with these nether portals following this top square here. Shiza. So now you should have a nice little square like this. The next step we need to do is actually bring it in by two. So I am going to use just obsidian for this because I'm lazy. Like so. And I grabbed a bunch of it, so I'm not too concerned. Bring all that in like that. Next, we need to go ahead and build out two more again. So you have two on each side of the portal is the idea here. So go like that. And then we need to build this ring all the way around. After you have built your ring on the outside, you can bring each of these up by three and just build like n like you would normally build nether portals. We're going to use the normal height here. Like so, because the guardians only fit in the two space anyway, so building it up higher than that would not really change anything. But yeah, so now that we have this shape, we can actually get rid of these as well. Don't want these here. Get rid of them. Like so. And now we can build these walls all the way up. And actually as well, you are going to want to build this down one as well. So you're going to want to do one down and one, two, three, and then a fourth one up. So you're at the same level as the portals when you finish off in this bit. I'm actually going to focus on this bit because I don't want to waste more potions than I have to because invisibility potions are kind of nice. Once you've got this wall built all the way up, okay, I'm gonna have to turn that down because it's really annoying. I gotta leave some. I gotta leave it somewhat on though. All right. So once you got that all done, you're gonna want to fill in this roof as well. Now our next step here is going to be to do the old swim inside, and it's a bit dark in here. But our next step is to light these portals up. So we're going like that, 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 that. This could get a little loud if you don't have quieter nether portals. So make sure you turn down your volume for that. And then you're going to want, oh, whoops, I forgot to light this one. <laughs> and then you want to take water and place it on the portal specifically. Do not place it on a block. Do not place it on anything but the portal. You can come down and get extra water. Actually, I would not. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, once you have some sort of bit of water source, you should be fine. But actually... Right there, you should be fine. There you go. Uh, but yeah, you're going to be careful where you place these because they can break. You're going to want to make sure you're very cautious with your placements here. So grab your water. Go like so. And you just want to make sure that's not what you meant to do. <laughs> just going to make sure that you are very cautious with your placements. You only need to place against this wall. It should all fill out after. So don't worry too much about placing them on the inner wall. Because as you see, when we put that water there, it will fill out entirely. Just make sure you're very careful to only place against the portals. You don't want to click on... You don't want to click on, say, that block right there. Because then you will end up breaking the portal. There you go. Now, we need to go through and start setting up our nether portal. But first, I need to actually acquire some hoppers and a camp and uh you need eight campfires and some hoppers to fill a storage system uh we can bring some more building blocks than that huh yep yep i know 
I know, right? It's weird seeing me. All right, into here we go. I'm hoping we don't spawn in the valley. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, this is actually magnificent. I could not have asked for a more perfect spot, actually. <laughs> All right, we're just going to dig out a bunch then. And like that. There we go. Okay, so. Dig these down a few blocks. Like so. I'm going to dig these out for now, but you're going to want to replace the ones directly under the portal. So. Come down. Let's see. So at the four, it's one, two, three, four down. And then we're going to put our chests on this side. So. Let's put our first chest down. I need the hoppers too. Um, Actually, I need... I need, I need, I need a wall here. Right, okay, so our first chest is going to go here. And we're going to run hoppers all the way to it like so. Just like this. Bam. And we're going to put our wall back, and we're also going to take our campfires and go like so. Then that, and then we're going to put the campfires back down again into here and that is our little death pit like so we do need to leave ourselves a way out though so you're gonna want to leave yourself a way in and a way out but you're gonna also need to close that up behind you as you go out uh, the easiest solution to this problem as well is to bring some obsidian with you which I did not so I might actually do that before I close it and build a different uh, nether portal but if we know the coordinates to our home portal, we could also just go to it directly. But that's I'll, I'll, I'll worry about linking up nether portals after the fact. For now, we're just going to work on digging the space out. So we have a little bit of room to work with. I can actually make this into like a nice room now. Oh, hello. Yep, that gives us access to all of the chests. Perfect. Yeah, we just... Perfect. Yep, 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 yep. Alrighty. So, I am going to actually link up those nether portals, like I said I was gonna, and I'm hoping this will all work out hunky-dory. Uh, can I fit a portal in this house? Can I, can I, can I, can I? Probably not. I can fit one in here, though. Here we are. I might end up upgrading that village at some point. That'd be a fun project. All right, so let's take our soul sand. And you just need to fill in the little spots where there's no portal. So here, like we're gonna go straight down. Go like that, go like that, that, that. That should put bubble columns all the way up. It'll force them into here. They won't be able to escape, but I can. And then we're gonna go through here. I actually am gonna very quickly double check this links back up. Because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be sad. And this one's a little weird because it is going to be on the lip of this, so, you know, it's, it's going to look a little strange when you're first doing it. Alrighty, so we have to go up to Y186. This should be at Y67. If it's not, um, something weird has happened because I'm pretty sure all Guardian Temples spawn at the same level. So we're going to put all that on just in case we fall. And we're going to go do do. We need to go all the way up to 186. Finally, right here. I did forget torches, so I will need to bring some back, but we're just going to go ahead and remember to place corners in your AFK room. I cannot stress that enough. You will die if you forget your corners. So don't think you can get away without building the corners because phantoms will spawn and phantoms will kill you if you are AFK. Do not stress that enough. If you do not build your corners up your AFK room, you will die. You don't have to build this out of glass either, but you should. Get a nice view out of the deal. All right, I'm going to get the camera account on and see if this is working well. Because we should be at the right level, 186, yeah. Open to land. Spectator, all that off, start land. So as you can see here, the guardians are spawning. They are spawning on the edge, but they then very quickly out actually swim out of the range of the spawning area. 
you can't go any higher than this because then you won't be reaching the water anymore. But you can see that they're spawning, they're going right in here, and then eventually they flop their way on into the portals. And if we can actually get through a portal, I don't know if we can, in spectator. No, I don't think we can. Alrighty. But we should be able to go and check it out soon because these guys are going to work their way into the portals. Eventually, they should flop their way on in. I have to. Yep, there we go. See? Bam. It works. Oh, we get some ink sacks from this too? Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! We might not need a squid farm. If this thing's gonna produce us ink sacks as well because squid are spawning there? Oh my, we might not need a. Yeah. But yeah, you can see that was just a few minutes and we already have that much stuff, which is pretty, pretty quick. This thing's gonna fill up quite quickly. But as far as this episode of Hardcore goes, that is gonna be it. I might do a little bit of an AFK session in between episodes at this thing, just to see. Just to see how much we can get. I'll probably AFK for about two or three hours. Yeah, what time is it now? Let's see. Let's see what time it is. It is 10.30 a.m. I'm going to AFK till 1.30 p.m. The AFK session starts now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Hardcore. I've enjoyed making it, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye!